It's easy to fall into the depths of a ragdoll cat's glowing sapphire eyes, but the real enchantment of these pointed cats with the silky medium-length coat is their gentle and affectionate personality. The ragdoll cat has a reputation of being a lap cat per excellence, and many enjoy being carried around, cradled like a baby. Today, we'll tell you about the Ragdoll Cat Breed 101, everything you need to know. Number 10. Ragdolls can be demanding. Most of them crave attention, perhaps more than the average cat. Ragdolls crave company and follow you around like dogs. If you're away at work every day for long days, they may not be such a good choice of cat for you. I've heard of some people who have complained about the raggy being overly demanding. This quality is part of the ragdoll personality. Not each and every ragdoll is demanding for attention and craves attention, but most are. It's who they are. Having two ragdolls rather than one will definitely help should you be short on attention time for your kitty. However, then remember your cost will double as well. If you don't have time to pay attention to them and be affectionate, look to another breed that is less clingy. Number 9. The Cost of a Ragdoll Cat – They Don't Come Cheap A well-bred purebred raggy does not come cheap. Depending on the breeder, where in the world you are, prices will vary. But a well-bred cat of this breed does not come cheap. The cost of the cat is just the tip of the iceberg. There's food, toys, beds, climbers, scratching posts, vet bills, grooming tools, perhaps professional grooming, pet sitter from time to time, and more. Really, if you're going to do this right, there will be a cost and plenty of them. Don't be guilty of paying for a cat and then too cheap to do what's best for your new ragdoll. Remember, you need to have the money and be willing to spend it on your ragdoll. There are so many people that are concerned with the price of a ragdoll kitten or cat. However, the price to buy or adopt a ragdoll kitten or cat should really be considered secondary compared to the cost of owning a ragdoll cat or any cat for that matter. The ragdoll I grew up with lived for 19 and a half years, so going into adopting the two I have now I knew it was at least a 15 to 20 year commitment. While it's impossible to predict the future, having a good idea that you can afford vet bills, litter, food, toys, and more every year is crucial. Number 8. Large Breed If you're used to having short-haired domestic cats, then you might be surprised how big ragdolls are and can be. Of course, I am hesitant to say this as there are small ragdolls. However, in general, they are considered a large breed cat. So usually you need a larger litter box, a larger cat bed, a larger cat tree, for example. You'll also need a larger cat carrier as ragdolls not only weigh more, but many are taller and longer than average kitties. Number 7. Ragdoll Personality and Appearance no guarantees they'll flop and be gentle. Ragdoll cats are more like dogs. Most are affectionate, playful, laid back, and tons of fun. However, there are no guarantees they'll mature into a cat that is a textbook ragdoll. I get very upset when I read of someone looking to rehome their ragdoll kitten because it doesn't live up to their expectations. Not affectionate or too skittish. Many folks want a cat with the ideal appearance. Large in size, big fluffy ruff, gorgeous eyes, perfect silty coat and all. Same goes here, no guarantees. Buying from a quality, well-researched breeder helps you beat the odds, but still no guarantees. I just don't like seeing cats given up from what was to be their forever home and put up for adoption because they failed to be the ultimate ragdoll. Don't fall into this shameful trap. You must be willing to accept them as they are. One other distinctive feature of ragdoll cats is their blue eyes. If you have a cat that resembles the ragdoll breed, but their eyes are green or yellow in color, you do not have a ragdoll cat. There are many different types of ragdoll cats. Ragdoll's coats 
can come in six different colors, red, seal, chocolate, as well as blue, lilac, and cream. Ragdoll kittens are born white. They have good color at 8 to 10 weeks and full color and coat at 3 to 4 years. This means that you can have a ragdoll kitten and not really know what color they'll be for years to come. It's like a long-term surprise to see what the final coloration will be. Pretty cool if you ask me. 6. Outdoors versus Indoors Probably not outdoors. I would not recommend a ragdoll cat to be an outdoor cat. They are a gorgeous cat and the odds of someone scooping up your baby is pretty good. They are also quite docile and not aggressive, so they wouldn't do well if they got into trouble with another animal. I know of a ragdoll owner who had a farm and insisted that the cat be an outdoor cat. They had Lily for about a year. I always knew that cat was living on borrowed time. Number 5. Care Ragdoll's coats are something that make them unique. They have a moderately long fur with some undercoat. Not as much as perhaps a Norwegian forest cat. This means that this breed is less likely to mat, but that doesn't mean that they don't still need brushed and groomed. I usually recommend combing your cat once or twice a week with a great brush to prevent them from shedding or matting. There are pages on the internet that claim that ragdoll cats do not shed. They are a long-haired cat breed and they most certainly shed a lot, especially if they are living in warmer conditions. There is a stereotype out there that ragdoll coats are mat-free. While some most certainly are, it is still necessary to groom them on a regular basis to avoid long hair matting. People are allergic to two things on a cat, their undercoat and or cat saliva. Ragdolls are known not to have an undercoat, but unless you know what the cause of your allergy is, then you can't know if you won't be allergic to a ragdoll. Certainly like other healthy cats, ragdoll cats use their tongue to clean themselves. So therefore, their fur has cat saliva all over it. They are not hypoallergenic. Ragdoll cat fur can stir up your allergies. Be sure you can handle a raggy in your household if you have allergies. Or, if you don't know if you're allergic, find out before adopting one. They're known for being one of the least allergenic long-haired cats, but again, no guarantees. 4. Cuddle Lap Cats If you want a lap cat, you might get one in a ragdoll. You might not. If you want a cuddle bug, you might get one in a rag doll. You might not. My Charlie, who is now six years old, just started laying on me when he was five years old. Before Charlie, I've never had a rag doll cat that was a lap cat. 3. Gorgeous If you're adopting a purebred cat, then more than likely you're looking for a certain look. This is probably the one breed stereotype you can rely on. Your ragdoll cat will look like a ragdoll cat. After all, that's probably part of the reason you're choosing to adopt a ragdoll. 2. Addition Ragdoll cats are a great addition to families solely based on their laid-back personality. They usually are the breed that will be easiest to play dress-up with or make them dance on a TikTok video. Ragdoll cats are also great with other cats as well as adding dogs into the family. You still want to be careful how to introduce a ragdoll to other cats or dogs, and it is important to still pet-proof your home when you get a new ragdoll cat. Chances are if you adopt a ragdoll cat or kitten and fall in love with it, you'll end up wanting another one. I'm of the belief that you're matched or introduced to different souls in your lifetime on purpose. I believe each soul encounter will help you grow. So when I adopt a cat, I look forward to what we will learn from each other rather than having expectations of he or she before we even get home. Number 1. When no other breed will do the real test to know if you're ready to adopt a ragdoll into your home forever is when you know about ragdoll cats. The good and not so good, but no other breed will do. You are smitten by the beauty of the ragdoll, mesmerized by their adoring blue eyes, and dream of being a ragdoll owner. Be willing to overlook their imperfect markings. 
Be willing to accept those cat bites, scratches, and pouty attitudes with grace. No, they are every bit as much work as any other cat and perhaps even more. No, you'll look forward to sitting and spending time with them and playing with them as much as you are able. No, you can afford to give them the very best food and care they deserve. No, they may mess outside their litter boxes at times. Be very sure, no matter what, when you adopt them and bring them into your home, it will be their forever home. Then and only then will you know you are ready for a ragdoll cat. Do let us know in the comments which one is your favorite cat breed. Please subscribe to the All Cats. Thanks for watching.